Hi guys! So today I feel a little stupid because I already recorded this but there was no sound. So let's go again. So today I'm gonna show you how to make um, a transition uh, that's quite fast and I saw it as screen pumps. Uh, I'm not sure if it's like... I mean it has no official name so yeah, that's it. So first thing you're gonna want is some music that has beats. So for mine, uh, I totally just took one from another tutorial um, <laughs> because that's how I learn how to do things on Canon Life. I just take tutorials and copy it, you know. So first thing I did is take the music and the thing from the tutorial also, I'll put the, uh, by the way, I'll put the link in the description. And what I usually do is I go here and I put my clips at the same places as their clips. And then I try to like make them match. So like I overlay both of them with a composition, like just normal opacity. And I try to make them match. But so um, it also works just at random. So like I'm just going to take my music. I don't need all of this because I'm going to make a, just a short one. And then I'm going to take my clips and cut them to the music. So I just prepared these clips that are all from... Uh, what's it called? Like free stuff on the internet, you know? Uh, is that it? Yes. No, it's ungroup. Where is it? Ungroup clips. Yes. Goodbye, you. So obviously it's very long, I'm not going to need all of this. So I'm just going to cut it here. And then... I don't know, until I get to the next one. <laughs> I know there's three of them. Um, and yeah. And so then I'm going to align them with the beats. So it's going to change here. Oops. And then change here. And lastly, change here. Well, not change. Stop. So you're going to want a transform effect. Uh, you can just look for it here and look for transform here. Why am I on caps? Yeah, yeah, it just shows up. And so... You know how in most uh, softwares you have curves? Well, you don't really have them on Canal Live. And let's imagine you want something that's like really smooth, so you want it to be like go to the center and be like, okay, I want it at 100 here, 100 here, and then like 160 here, and I don't know, 130 here, let's say, and not 63. I forgot to center the last one. Oh no, I did not. Uh, if you look at this, it's gonna be really choppy, like, it's not really smooth. So, um, you're gonna go to smooth. Hey, that's something called smooth, let's use it, you know. And then, the problem here is that in the middle here, it's gonna be black around it, because there's a curve. But like, you can't really uh, make sure that it doesn't go past 100%. So I usually just deal with linear, because I am sure how it works. Um, and then I'm going to add some points myself. So like here I'm going to be at 102, for example. And then here I'm going to be at 105. And so then it's fast and then slower. 200 and then go back the other way and I also want it to be slower so like here I'm gonna go to 103 and one later 110 and then it really grows big at the end you know and I'm going to do the exact same thing for all three clips so transform and go somewhere in the middle 
take that 100 and go 160. Let's go both ways, it's then it's symmetrical. And same thing for the last one. I choose absolutely random numbers, like things that sound good in my head, you know. It might not be, I have no idea. Okay, let's go with that. So I'm gonna pre-render it, because I love pre-rendering. Um, add preview zone and render. Okay, so it's not much on the other side. And so let's see what it looks like. Yay. It's quite smooth, I like it. So if uh, Canalive was able to do it, I would add some motion blur or some ra radial blur, but there's none. So I think it looks good enough. You could try to do it with GIMP, like just save each image and then add some radial blur on GIMP, but like I don't think it really matters that much. I think it looks good like this. So I hope you like it and I will see you maybe next week. I don't know. I'm gonna try to be more consistent. Bye!